Hello folks, you are welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to help you how to mock Axios uh, post request. On previous video we learned how to mock a date or new date. And on this tutorial that to test React component or React application. And this uh, series of uh, tutorials, so if you are new uh, to watch this and this first time to watch it, so I will advise first to go back and to watch the previous tutorial and then try to follow us on this one and also if you are new to my channel try to subscribe to the channel also enable the bell to get all new notification when i upload new tutorials or new video to the channel and uh, i will leave this uh, to, uh, playlist url down of this video so you can go back and watch previous tutorials and uh, this application here we simple application we created just for testing purpose and this is just where we stopped uh, previously and, I, and also i added some change for the previous code so previously we were just try for example if you try to add any uh, user here and then submit this user being added but if i reload the page it will disappear this data because we just store this on local state and when we reload the browser will disappear and in this example, uh, I created a server or JSON server to help us to always keep the data and also to help us to test a real uh, a request. For example, if you have a front end application in real life, we'll be communicating with the server side. And this is what we are going to test today. So let's go and switch the branch to the new code that I did. So before switching, so this is where we stopped previously. So this is a hooks file that was for this container here, dashboard container. And previously we were just updating these uh, users, which is just empty array of uh, users. So whenever calls this handle submit, we'll update this list of users by adding a new user. And I, I changed this to have a real uh, server. So if I just go to the terminal here and stop this up and try to switch the branch to a branch that has the new work I did. So if you see here now, we have this new branch. What's the difference? Basically, I added three uh, functions here, one for fetching users and another one to add uh, a user and third one to delete a user. So and here in handle submit, instead of uh, call uh, this set users function here, this is instead uh, set users, I'm calling now this add uh, user. Uh, if I go to GitHub here, it will be, it'll be easier for you to compare what was previously and currently. So I added this db.json on the main directory for this how to configure a uh, JSON server. And also uh, I added this port so to run the JSON server on port 5000 on main directory too. And uh, here on backend JSON, I installed the server. I, I added this here, this uh, script, uh, which is called server. And this, when I run this script, we'll run this JSON uh, server uh, dash dash watch uh, DB JSON. And also I installed this Axios, which we are going to use to make a request for this uh, server endpoints and here on the card component i try to pass down some handler so when i can delete a user and i added also this button and here on this file users i also try to pass down this on uh, on uh, handle delete function to pass down to this user card and if i go to next file here which is the hooks the one that we just we were on we i added these three functions here and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk only about add users. On next tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, fetch users and also how to delete a user and add a test for these two different functions and these different endpoints. So if I scroll down here, as I mentioned, I added this function here instead of set a user directly or set users instead directly. I'm calling this add users, which uh, this add user here which will make a request to axios to this server endpoint with the relevant uh, user data and that what we are going to test in this uh, tutorial and how we can mock uh, axios post a request and uh, also here on this index just i try to fetch a user when the application just mounted and we are going to talk about this on the next tutorial how to make a test for axios get uh, for example, if you need to get a list of users from the API 
and uh, here just some of CSS tidying and that it basically for this very quick recap and uh, let's go directly uh, to our test here so if you see here this test file I didn't change anything from previous tutorial if we run the test again today the test will fail and to together we'll try to make it uh, pass again so which we are going to work how to mock Axios uh, post request just let's us run the test npm run test see as you see here so this list of failure as you see here also this here I was expecting empty or receive this data uh, let's go and try find out how we can fix this and we are going to go one by one there we have two files are passed here so we are going to only work around uh, one of these files which is this one the failing directory and uh, also I talked previously how we can run a test for only one di directory instead for all other directories and this will help us to manage uh, how we can try to debug and also try, try to f try to find a solution we have these two uh, test cases are failing uh, let's go one by one first we'll start by this if we go to this description here and uh, this description will be uh, on size this file just we just try to call the test for which here if we I did quick search which is this test case here and I can use dot only so this will help me to test all this test case and it will help me to just do very quick debugging let me clear this so also this will help you how to debug and how to fix any issue so now we only test this one and this is failing let's go and see why it's failing basically previously we are trying to check when after make this three uh, on change handler or after firing this three uh, handle change functions then we'll call this handle submit at the end then we'll expect the data to be inside these users but now the scenario is changed we are not uh, adding the user to users array but we make a request to uh, API or a server endpoint which if I come back again here to this hooks which will call when call handle submit will call this hand uh, add user and this add user here will make a request to Axios with the relevant user data how we can uh, change the scenario to work at this one so to mock uh, Axios before everything here let's at the beginning at the top here we need to mock to call JSON or just dot mock and this will be a function first prom will be Axios itself and second prom will be a callback function and inside here I'm going to spread another guest function uh, require action so basically I will spread any other relevant axios functionalities so not affecting them in here I'm going to only to mock a post function so this post I will expect it to be just dot function this is the way how we can mock a function basically uh, at the top here first we need to call this general mock and then at the bottom we can access this directly so if I come back again here uh, instead of this and uh, I'm going to change instead of this I'm going to say I expect axios dot post and also I need to import this axios actually because I, we don't have it here I need to import it uh, import uh, axios from here at the bottom so I will expect uh, axios dot post to have been to have been called with to have been called with with the two prom first prom will be the endpoint and the second prom will be the actual data that we expecting basically in this scenario because the user will uh, be called if I go back to this hooks here will be called with the user data which here if I go back to user data which will be a uh, first name last name email and this empty ID we overriding that ID here but in this scenario here in this test case I'm only caring about uh, other user uh, data uh, except the ID we have another test case here for only the ID I will come just for that after this uh, scenario so because I'm trying to expect some of the data in this scenario I will use expect dot uh, 
object containing uh, this will help me just to uh, expect some of the that object data so uh, if i need to expect all the of all of the data so basically it will be something like this uh, uh, let me just remove this remove this here array and this array and again let me remove this i will show you first what i mean and after fail that will make sense so by default if i said i will expect this the data to be sent over and the endpoint let's see the endpoint uh, if i come back again to this file the endpoint will be this uh, endpoint here and go back again and add the endpoint if i run the test again let's see that will fail because it will expect also the uh, user ID to be added uh, since we have some syntax error. Yeah, here's a closing tag for this function. Yeah, uh, if I go back again, run the test. Yep, see here that is complaining because this ID is not exist, it will fail. And uh, because I'm trying to test only part of this data in this scenario, I'm going to use the second approach that I just mentioned. It will be called uh, expect dot object containing so now you should understand what this object containing will do basically when you need to expect some of the data not all of this is this object data if i run the test again then the test will pass yep that's passed now and uh, so this test case is passed let me just uh, remove this only and if i run the t all the test cases now again so still there is one test case it will fail and we'll try also to fix that one that's fine if you see this last one and with the description this here if i go back again here and see this is the last one so also previously we have tried to access as a fairest user in this array and the id of this user to be equal to to this id and uh, we change the approach now so we don't store directly the user to this state uh, array or but we make a request to actual api so basically the approach will be similar to what we did here and in this scenario just i will expect uh, this axios i'll expect axios uh, dot post to have been called have been called with the uh, first one will be the endpoint and second one will be this object here but instead of this will be id equal to this user id here and i need to change the endpoint also to be this localhost 5000 users uh, let me change this one and this should will do basically in this scenario because just i'm trying to test only the user id and to separate it from other data and if i run the test again let's see how this will go all right this seems uh, all of them pass here so this uh, console error here about uh, that we make a request here when the component mounted uh, and we call this fetch users and this fetch users, uh, let's see where this coming is here. This fetch users using also Axios. And uh, when run the test, is, it will fail because we didn't mock this function. Uh, to make it pass, basically we need to go to here at the top. As we mocking here this post, the initial post function, also we need to mock get uh, function, which will be just get and the initial value will be just just dot uh, fun or this is term for function and so as you see here this is because uh, fetch it will use get axios dot get so that's why we need to mock get and if i go and run the test again now should that fix the console error and that should be the fix so that is basically this how to mock uh, axios uh, post requests and uh, also still there is one more test case we need to add for example if we run this here test coverage always try to run the test coverage to help you to also find out what you missed you didn't cover this will be just uh, npm run coverage 
and also I show you I showed this for you in previous tutorial how to to run this coverage uh, test and how to add this coverage script as you see here on the test case in line 34 so this here will show you the line that you didn't you didn't cover in your test and we are not going to care about all of the rest because we are going to have a tutorial for the rest but in this tutorial for this 34 if we go back go to hooks file itself 34 in this line here for add user function we test it how we can mock a request for axios post but we didn't test how when for example if this function retain any error we need to test also to catch this error and also to help us to have really good test coverage uh, for this 34 try to remember with me we have here issue in line 34 if we add the test case for this let me create new test case here and at the end and i'm going to just do this to speed up the tutorial tutorial and should handle add user error when call handle submit and there is an error so basically we can make the same request just we did here i'm going to copy this to line here and so this i will call this handle submit or handle handle submit function in this scenario we are not going to call handle submit inside act because we are going to catch an error to catch the error we don't need to use this and we are going to use just try catch and inside try will call this uh, let's make it uh, await because it's a synchronous uh, call and inside here i will expect error i will expect error dot message to equal i'm going to create a variable here const call it custom custom error and this will be just an object has message and message will be is just for example there is an error occurred i will expect the error message will be just custom error dot to equal to or this error dot message to equal to this custom error dot message and i need to mock an error basically how i can do that in this scenario will be axios uh, dot post dot mock implementation once so this i can mock it only one time and then this will be callback function and in this callback function i'm going to return a promise dot reject as i mentioned the api or the server endpoint will be a synchronous call which will be a promise i'm going to reject this and what's the value the value will be uh, error or how to create an error will be new error and then the value of this error will be just the same this is what we are expecting uh, custom uh, error dot message new with a small n not capital n this here will make uh, will uh, make here an error when this post being called and then this will break our request here on this as a user and then we'll fire an error the error will be cut here if i go back again to this test case uh, we'll mock uh, this error and the error will be this text and we'll make a request here and then we're expecting this test to fail and the expectation this error message to equal to this custom error dot message if i run the test now again let me run the test without the coverage and just to make sure it's passed then i will run the coverage and we should not see this 34 line anymore if i run the coverage again and if we don't see the 34 lines that mean our test correctly working and we cover that line as you see here we don't have that 34 anymore and that we handling all the add user uh, test cases when we make a post to add a new user and also we handling when there is an error and this basically how to unmock uh, axios post uh, request or using a real live uh, api request and i hope this was simple and clear and if you are new to my channel as i mentioned don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also if you like the video try to press some up this always will help me to continue adding more tutorials and leave your comment down tell me about the tutorial how do you find it and then see you on the very next tutorial